In MathCAD Prime 11, you can now use Python for scripting your advanced input controls. If you go to your Input Output tab from the Advanced drop-down menu, we can create list boxes, check boxes, text boxes, radio buttons, sliders, and buttons. Right now, I am in a worksheet that I created for the May 2025 PTC MathCAD Community Challenge. It's about creating a space habitat. I'm going to scroll down to a page where I have some sliders and some advanced input controls for text boxes. And let me scroll down a little bit more to show you how to create one of these advanced input controls using Python. I'll go to the drop down list and let's choose list box. And so there you see a preview. Let me give it a name. I'll call it PY for Python. Let me click outside. Then I can right click on it and choose edit. And here is the dialog box where you can add your own custom scripting. If you don't want to just configure what's available on the properties tab and fill in the different values that you can use. But anyhow, if you take a look in the upper right hand corner, this is currently showing J script. If I go to the drop down list, you have VB script for Visual Basic. This was available in Prime 10, but now we have this additional choice for Python. And when I click on it, you will notice that the script inside of this dialog box actually updated to Python code. Now be aware that before you can use any of this, you have to have Python installed on your computer. In order to install it, you can go to www.python.org forward slash downloads in order to add it to your system. So anyhow, let me close this list box. And I want to show you these two different text boxes in the context of the sliders right above it. And so this will tell you if your configuration for a space vehicle will end up making people motion sick or give them a little bit of queasiness or if they'll be okay. And that's based on what kind of gravity you want to simulate and the radius of the spinning vehicle. So anyhow, we can take this and right now where we would get motion sickness. If I crank this down a little bit, you can see that the text boxes still say motion sickness. And then at this point, oh wait, if we were having 0.8 Gs and a radius of only 30 meters, that would be a problem. Let's say we want to have simulation of 1G like here on Earth, and we start making the radius of our vehicle bigger. Hey, at around 37.5 meters radius, we would be fine. And so as I crank this up a little bit more, we can find that, oh, okay, once we get to about 65 meters radius, then it would be okay. People should not be getting motion sickness. But anyhow, these two checkboxes are the same except for one is written with JScript and the other one is written with Python. If you want to see the code that is used in these, you can right click on them and choose edit. And so here we have the code here for our J script. Let me cancel out of this and I'm going to right click on the one below it and let's take a look at the Python code. And so here is that Python code. Let me close out of this one and let me, I'm going to grab a notepad plus plus window where I have the code side by side. So here is the J script and here is the Python script. Now I'll leave that up so you can take a look at it. Now, I don't want you to look at this and say, oh, wow, Python is so much shorter than writing it in JScript. Well, in the JScript side, there's a lot of empty spaces, and I probably did not write this as easily as I could have because I know that in Python you have the if and the else if and the else formatting. You probably have the same thing over on JScript. Hey, I just don't remember my JavaScript that well. But anyhow, you can take a look at the differences. And one difference that really 
uh, shoots out at me is that you have to use the braces and you have to use the semicolons with your J script. And I know that when I've been trying to code stuff, that's something that I easily mess up. But with Python code, it looks a lot easier and cleaner in order to create. The last thing that I want to mention is that if you go to the PTC help, help.ptc.com, you can look up the formatting for the different kinds of advanced input controls. And so for example, here we are on the page for text boxes, especially if you want to have conditional formatting, in other words, evaluating some different inputs and then changing the values or changing the colors or changing the text based on that. Well, here are some of the different things that you can change. And you'll note that for things like, you know, our background color and our foreground color, you have the text in JScript and VBScript and Python as well. So you can see how to do it. You can see that we can also control the color. Oh, wait, this is for the colors up here. Here's for controlling the font size and whether you want to have multi-line text. And if you take a look over on the left, here we have some of our other different advanced input controls. So you can find the same information available for those within the PTC help. So there you have it. You can now use Python for scripting your advanced input controls in MathCAD Prime 11.